friends welcome back to my channel i have a really fun fun project to share with you today it's one of those things that you can make super quick but also if you take your time of course it's going to be even more gorgeous when you finish it so lately i've been playing with paper bags and i've shared recently a few videos making journals with them I do have many other videos sharing different ways that I use different paper bags to make, you know, many different projects. Uh, but this one I wanted to share because it's it's it includes um, a little secret pocket that I've shared before. And I do have it on my blog, I believe, uh, but it's been hard to kind of find for some of you. So I'm going to do the video again on that secret pocket. We're just going to use a lunch bag. Um, this one happens to be your standard lunch bag. Um, you can see from my mat, you know, the height and the width. It doesn't really matter um, but which one you use. I should say that. It doesn't matter which one you use or what size. But I am using, you know, your regular one that has the gussets and everything. Okay. So I'll show you what we're going to make. And then I'll show you how to put it together, which is, I think it's just so fun. So this is what it looks like. I'm still working on it, but I figured I would show you what I've done uh, because otherwise I'd get delayed in actually sharing a video. And then I forget if I've actually shared the video because then I kind of move on to something else once I've quickly filmed it. So to get started with showing you really basics I've used for this mini journal, and it is really truly using just things that I had on my desk. So you know, you can tie it with anything. Of course, I just decided to use this sari ribbon, um, you know, just to keep it closed. I have used some of my own paper collection uh, in this journal because I had a lot of extra pages when I'm, you know, doing some sample printouts and that sort of thing. So this is from one of my, um, uh, you know, floral journals, uh, floral papers, I should say. I will leave the name of the printables I've used on the screen and of course anything else that I have used I will link it in the description box below. So the cover itself is just decorated with some of my printables. I've just added some additional. This is some um, uh, vintage wallpaper that has like a really nice design on it. So you have a nice large pocket here. Okay. And then you've got just, I made a little tuck spot here. Again, the inside pages are from my printable. I'm repurposing and reusing a lot of things. So this is actually from a junk mail envelope. Um, I just had this little card in here. And this actually I made from a box that had some items in it. So I cut up the box and I just kind of made a little tuck spot with it. And like I said, this is sort of a work in progress right now. This is just the basics from it. You have some just regular paper that was on my desk. Okay, and then the back is, as well has a nice large pocket. And then this is the secret pocket that I'm talking about. I shared this, oh my gosh, years ago <laughs> on my channel. Um, I Like I said, I have um, an additional sort of blog about it, but I'm going to just do this one again in this video because I know I always get questions about it. So it's super fun and easy. And all, and like I said, all we use to make it is the paper bag for the cover and for the secret pocket. And of course, you know, to fill your journal with pages, that's up to you. Uh, but I'll show you how to put this one together. It's like I said, super fun and easy. I hope you Just before I get started, I wanted to show you, I added a little bit of something to the front. And it looks like I did a little bit of um, like it looks like sewing on the page. And I love that look. Um, I use this little stapler, which is no staples staple. And it ends up looking like you've stitched on your paper, which I absolutely love. Um, I will link this below if you haven't seen it before. But it is one of my favorite things to add to paper to look like there's some stitching on it, which I think is fabulous. So anyways, I wanted to show you that because I just did that to the top of the a front cover there added the flowers and i'm continuing to decorate as i said but um, i just want to show you what i had added to it as well all right so let's get started 
Okay, so um, it doesn't really matter what size of paper bag you use. I'm just using the standard uh, lunch bags that you get at the dollar store, which by the way, I have not been able to find recently. I'm not sure what's going on there, um, but you will kind of uh, cut it facing up. So you follow the line of the bottom of the paper bag as I'm showing you here. And then you're left with this, the two pieces. So you've got your bottom of your paper bag. And then this is the secret opening that I'm talking about. So we'll decorate that in a minute and then kind of put it together so you can see how it goes. Now you see how this has the gussets. I'm just opening up the bag, making it flat so I don't have gussets anymore. And I love this part because I really love the sounds of the paper bag, of course. And as I said, if you are new to my channel, uh, check out my playlist. I have many videos showing you different ways to use different kinds of paper bags in many, many projects. And I will link that below. So here I'm folding it in half basically, and you can fold it either way. So I'm folding it in half this way. So you've got like an opening at the top and bottom, which, you know, this could work. But I think what I'm going to do is fold it the other way and make it a little bit taller and slimmer. Um, and then this way I'll have my pockets on the sides. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So this would mean the pockets are at the top and bottom, or I should say at the top. Um, let's see how I just folded it over on itself here, the um, kind of like the long way. And this means that my cover now has a pocket on the front and a pocket in the back. Okay, so it really doesn't matter how you fold your bag. You just need to flatten it and fold it in half. And I'm going to do it this way so that I can have a large front and back pocket to my cover. Okay, so I'm taking it over and again, I'm just folding it and I'm not even using anything to really crease it because I want like a soft fold here. And then you can see that we now have an opening on the front and in the back. All right, so that's our, our basic cover. Um, and then this will attach it to the inside to make like that secret pocket opening. But first I'm just going to select, you know, what to cover with. You can use anything you have. I'm just going through some of my printables here. This one actually happens to be from Making and Creating Digital Collage Club. Um, but um, I have a lot of my offcuts here and, and just pages where I was testing things out. Um, I will leave the names of the printables I've used on the screen. They are in my shop. And thank you so much for your support. Those of you that um, support me through my um, coffee or Kofi page. Okay, so now I'm just going to take the papers and just cover the front, back and inside of this cover. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, show you step by step because I'm sure I, you know, how to cover um, pages and things like that. But I will show you a qu quick technique here. If you don't have those tear away rulers, like the, the ones that um, give you that little kind of torn paper look, um, I just use scissors for um, kind of like wavy cuts, and I move my paper around. If, you know, if I cut too much or too little, that's fine. I just want my page not to be straight on, on the sides that I'm using. And I think it just turns out looking really cool when you, uh, you cut it this way, because you don't have to worry so much about it being straight or having a straight line. There are some projects, of course, that I like that, but for this project, I kind of want it to be a little bit less perfect. Right, so you can kind of see how the brown of the paper bag peeks through. Here, I just wanted to show you and remind you not to close your pocket because there may be a little opening here on your paper bag. So glue around the hole so that it still opens when you glue your paper down. Um, I've made that mistake before and that's why I wanted to show you. So you can see here that I have my opening left. Now I'll just cover the rest of it. So I've covered the outside and the inside. Again, these are my digital papers. Now you have your front pocket and your back pocket here. And then the other fun part is gathering the pages that you want to use to, um, you know, for your journal. Um, this is what we will be adding to the back. And then we'll have our secret opening um, coming out on this uh, side. Of course, you can add this anywhere. 
I'm going to just cover the top for decoration again. And of course, you know, you can do whatever you want with this um, decorating of your little top of your secret pocket. I'm just using the leftover bit that I just used for the cover. And um, then we'll add our little tab so that it can show um, how to pull that out here. So I was just showing you that I accidentally cut a little bit on that page and I just used some uh, mat, uh, some tape to close the hole because of course I'm going to be attaching this to my paper bag anyways. So here we're just taking the extra little piece. I've cut it up. I'm adding it to the top. And then this is another extra piece of course that came off of what I was cutting and I'm just folding that in half to make my little tab. If you've got your tab punch, of course you can do that. I have that um, whale tail they call it, but I didn't want to take it out because I wanted to show you just any tab will do. It doesn't have to be anything, um, you know, that you have to have a paper punch for or a tab punch for. So again, I just folded that in half. I'm adding my glue. I'm making a mess. Um, I will link below my favorite supplies. Um, thank you so much to those of you that use the links. It really does help support my channel and to keep showing you these um, these quick and fun projects that I like to share with you. All right, so here I'm just taking the bottom of that paper bag here. That's the opening of the um, bottom here. And then I'm just attaching that to that bottom there. So you know it's got two openings. The or one opening I should say, but the bottom of the opening is where I've attached right there is where I've attached that little uh, tab. And now I'm just going to glue this right to the inside of the cover. And then I'll show you how fun that is to, um, you know, pull open and put little secret things inside this pocket. So really a super fun, easy project to make. I will be showing you how I just use regular bits of things I have on my desk to make the pages. I'm using some packaging and just some random bits that I have. And then I'm just going to make uh, pockets. We will attach our pockets and our little project will be done. And now here, just alone with this process, you've got a pocket in the front, a pocket in the back, and then our little secret pocket here. You can see that there super cute, super fun. And I can totally fill this up with lots of goodies and it'll still close nicely. So now um, let's just add some pages. I'm just using some packaging here that I, um, I saved the packaging, especially when it's like brown paper like this. And again, just an easy way to add a page. It's just sort of eyeball where my pages are supposed to be. And then I'll just cut this and make a little page out of it. I'm trying to make it a little kind of shabby. So I don't want anything, you know, really too straight or um, too perfectly cut. So of course, I'm just using my ruler to um, to do that here. And fold this up because it's just fun to have little extra bits hanging everywhere. And then I'm just going to fold it in to see how it fits. And I like the way that fits in the page. So I'll just go ahead and grab some other bits of paper and then I'll show you just how easily this is, right? I just got some random bits of paper, folded it in different ways. Um, I have many tutorials as well showing you how to add pages to your journals if you want to check those out. Um, also how to have different types of easy binding for your projects. I just love the idea of, you know, binding things in different ways. I happen to have these like vintage looking, um, I guess they're used for maybe brochures, but I like the design of this and it happens to sort of fit somewhat in here. I do want some pieces hanging out uh, the pages because I don't want it to be too perfect right now. I'm planning on really um, decorating this and making it just really grungy looking. But then here is the finished look. I've got my pages here, my cover, my little um, packaging and all I've done is I've attached it with staples. Now you could do a three, three hole pamphlet stitch. You can uh, punch some holes in the center and just tie it with ribbon. Like I said, I have many different, um, suggestions in my videos on how to bind it, but I thought, um, you know, using a stapler is really easy for this project and, or ribbon. If you do the easy binding, that's also another great one where you just tie a ribbon through, um, you know, around all the pages and then tie it on the inside or outside and it leaves you a nice kind of finished look. 
Now I don't want to see my staples so I'm just using masking tape because I know that I can color this a little bit later. I can maybe, if I want to decorate a little more, things will attach to it. But I also like the look of it because it's just like a nice kind of neutral color. And it kind of holds, of course, my paper and it covers those, um, those staples as well. So that's it, my friends. I will come back as I'm decorating this maybe and show you a little bit more. Um, of what I've done. If you want to see it, let me know. Leave a comment below. But I thought I would just show you this fun and easy project you can make in, you know, in no time at all. Just grab a paper bag and play with it and make a nice little project um, that you can use up right away or send in the mail to a friend. All right. Um, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by.